it was an interesting article on motorsport.com on whether Formula One should cut down their race calendar. So, so far, it's sitting at 21 races, which is tied for the most uh, since 2016. And the Renault Sport Formula One boss, uh, Cyril Abutbul, uh, he came out and said that, you know, he thinks that the, the calendar should be shortened. He thinks two, 21 races are way too much. Um, and that he, he thinks that they should reduce the calendar to, you know, as little as 15 races. So I've highlighted just a, a, a small piece here, and, and you guys can find this article uh, for yourselves. Like I said, it's on motorsport.com as well. Um, but one of the things here he says is, we need to be able to engage with fans, but it has to remain something special. We are already way above what we should be the figure for something special. We need to convey a message of pride, of motivation, of energy. With the calendar that we have now, the enthusiasm is not the same as when we were only traveling 15 times per year. Uh, and then he goes on to say, if we don't have the energy, it's going to be very difficult to convey that externally. Um, and he said that between 15 and 18 races would massively increase the value. And then other uh, points in the article was that it would be a bit too much on the team and on the staff. Uh, you know, he understands the need to, to sort of make money and then to grow the uh, grow the brand, you know, globally. But that is just a bit too much. So it's a very interesting, uh, you know, topic and and. You know, we'd like to hear what you guys think in the, in the comments below. So um, after you're done watching this video, you know, let us know in the comments what you think. Is 21 races too long? Is the calendar in Formula 1 too long anyway? And should we shorten it or should we even lengthen it? I, you know, I think as fans, more races, the better for us, right? I mean, we really enjoyed that triple header. Having a, a, an F1 race every single weekend w was just great. Um, and, and like I said, more races for us would just be fantastic just because we enjoy watching the sport so much. Now, with that being said, if you're a, a mechanic or if you're part of the logistics teams and, and traveling with the with these teams, the team bosses, all these guys, uh, it's a lot for them. It's a lot of stress and it's a lot of work. You know, back to back weekends, you're you're almost going to every single continent on the earth. You know, uh, doing a race. So I understand the the concerns that more races would just be too taxing. And I think that there is something in this that if you were to reduce the calendar, I think 18 races is optimal. I think that would honestly be the optimal race. I think 15 would just be a little too short because you would have to cut out a lot of good tracks there. Now, there's some tracks on the current calendar that you could arguably take out, you know, in, in terms of overtaking abilities and in terms of just excitement. You know, Abu Dhabi, for example, could be one that you could take off the calendar. But then again, there's a big market you know, uh, in, in the in the UAE as, as well. That's a new market for F1 that they're trying to expand to. Um, you know, there's tracks like Baku that you definitely want to keep on the calendar. So there would be a big question there in terms of which races would you get rid of and then which ones would you keep.